Welcome back to Moonstone Crafts and welcome to another post review. Yes, we're finally back with a post review. I finished another one. Now you just saw this in my whip parade. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, I'll put the link up in the eye uh, on the corner of the video there. Um, but I finished it. I was very close to finishing it already when I showed you them. But here is the completed one. I finished it on Saturday the 3rd of April. It is actually the 4th of April when I'm filming this. Um, and I started it on February the 4th, 2021. So I guess like around two months I spent on this piece. Not daily. Uh, in the end, uh, at the end of the progress I did kind of do it daily. But in the beginning not so much. Uh, it's a... Treasure Studios art painting. Uh, it's called Run Free Horse and it's by the artist of Rachel Frout, which is one of my favorite artists. She become one of my favorite artists. She's very active on social media. Uh, her account is Rachel Frout Art. Uh, so I'll link that down as well um, in the description. Please go check it out and if you have a painting of hers and you're working on it, please tag her in it because she really loves to see it. Um, which I think is very nice. It's very nice when you have an artist that really likes seeing the diamond paintings come to life of their art. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully I can do one of her projects somewhere in the future again. It's a 40 by 60, it's a square diamond, square diamonds from Treasurious Arts. Um, it had 35 colors. Um, yeah. I think that's a... Oh, yeah, and I spent around 55 hours and 9 minutes. So, 55 hours on it. Um, in February, I haven't worked on it too much. Uh, in March, I worked on it a lot, of course, and then beginning of April when I finished it. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely one of my March projects. More of it. So... Let me talk about the squares from Trash Studios Arts. Because I know there are some opinions out there. Uh, and I know they haven't been good in the past. So I was worried when I started this. And I do have to say, they are not my favorite squares that i ever done. I have better Ever Moments, better Home Fun ones. Hopefully better DACs. I haven't tried them yet, so I can't uh, say that. Um, but... They were, uh, yeah, not the best quality, but they don't pop. And that's, I think, the most important thing, because all the things I heard before of TSA squares is that they popped. They don't. But now they have a bit of gapping on some places, uh, and you only can see it uh, from close up, of course, when you're working on it. From far away you don't see a thing. So I think that's perfect. That's how I like it. Um, and I think I would. If the quality stays like this. I would order another square from TSA. I wouldn't be afraid. Um, so that's definitely something. I will, sh I will actually search up. I ordered this one in October the 21st of 2020. So it was the end of October. I ordered this and it shipped. Um, when did it ship? Oh, 21st of November. So the 21st of November it shipped. So from then on, I guess they had these kind of squares that I have in this painting. Um, so I'm pleased. I'm happy they don't pop. I'm happy, you know, that the gapping isn't too big, that it doesn't look ugly. I think the rendering on some places could have been better. I mean, the clouds there is a bit weird and the very bright blue under his chin and that what goes on there is a bit strange. But I think the rest of it blends so very nice. Um, I also had some trouble with one symbol. Uh, I actually talked about that already in the unboxing. When I just unboxed it, I knew that was going to be a problem. But I did figure out another problem. Um, but 
I will close you up to look at the key. The 310 symbol, I don't know if you can see it right. Uh, you can see now that it's an exclamation mark if you look very carefully. But most of the time on the canvas you couldn't see, but that was the only dark one, the only weird ones. Um, that I couldn't see, so I knew it was that symbol. So that was easy in that way, but I guess it should have been made more visible. Um, I'm happy it wasn't just something that looks like the same. And we also had an E in yellow and an F in yellow. And they were pretty similar in color, so you really had to be careful when they were next to each other. Here, there, at the top part, in the main, here. I really had to be careful that I didn't switch those around. Uh, I did actually misplace a color on this one, but I found out pretty quick it was in the, in the neck part. Uh, but that was because my baggies were turned around, because I worked out of baggies for this one. So it was my own mistake. But I think I'm very happy. I like all the colors together. I do really like that. Uh, and I think for this size it looks pretty, pretty nice. Um, so I'm happy. So before I ramble too much on, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the close up and then we'll, I'm gonna show you how I actually stored my drills in baggies and worked out of baggies and everything. Um, and what I've left over of course, because it's a new company with squares. So we have to be very precise uh, with the poster view, I think. But first, let's get to that close-up. I hope you enjoyed that little close-up. Um, now, for the drills and everything. I've just used their new, newer boxing. Uh, there wasn't a sticker on this box when I got them, uh, you may remember. So I printed out the a copy of their inventory sheet and put the little picture that is on there on the side here. So I knew which box was which. Uh, and this is how my layout, layout is gone. I just totally ruined it a bit. <laughs> but these are all the baggies. They're now all limped over because of that the box was closed, but I would set them up. And then uh, they are in, in this um, DMC order uh, as they are on the legend, so I would see 154, I would see what kind of symbol fits with that. And that's the first time I worked like that, because normally I just put the symbol on the baggie or on the container, because I think that works way better. You have to think um, less, but I guess that's not how it works. So there's my little 
collecting that I put in my pen, my scissors, the legends, uh, I mean the inventory sheet, the little thing for my uh, shiny chess tray, uh, my pen from Creative Insel, and just the pen that I used to, uh, or I used to have my straightener on, but I put it on my normal pen, so this one was become irrelevant because I didn't use a multiplacer with this. Um, some washi tape that I used to uh, grid off the plastic that was on top. And then, because I just moved this box around. Oh, some tweezers. Just the simple ones. Not the pink one actually, because I used that with my other project. So, And I know I have three pink ones, but the other two are stored away. And then I had this little diamond art club tray that I used to just put my trash drills in. So, let's just take a look right away. This is everything that I got out during the kit. There were a lot of round shaped ones that were like so small as well. Um, some with holes. I know some of the red ones had holes in them. Just some real, real trash like that and that. Um, I think there were some misshaped ones, concaved ones. And just some that I found somewhere laying around and I didn't want to go through the trouble to find out which color they belong to, so they got in here as well. So this is uh, this is all the trash that I got out during the kit, which I think is pretty awesome. <laughs> and also some of the purple ones that you see here, those were a different color than the shade they were in. Um, they're supposed, they were supposed to be the 3837 color. Which is a darker shade purple, but these were a different kind of shade. I don't know if I can show you, but... So when I found uh, a different shade in here, I put them in the trash because I didn't want to go through the butter to sort them out later. Or just to have to pour out more because I only have the bad ones left. Um, so yeah, this is the trash. Um, I'm just gonna set it aside. Because before we get to cleaning out the trash, let's look at these colors and how many we have left. I see some more trash in here. So, 154, let me do it like this. My favorite color out of the world, you all know. We have a pretty large amount left actually. But this color was not my favorite color in this kit because you know, there were some misshaped ones in here as well. And some with a hole on the top. There were quite a few that had a hole on the top that I didn't really want to use if I don't, didn't have to, so. 208, just a little amount. I didn't run out of any color, so you don't have to worry about that. 210, 304, so there were a lot of reds, yellows, and purples actually in here. 307, 310, there was definitely some trash in here, so I do have to go through it and see if I want to save any or just throw them all away. Because <laughs> they're not the best 310 I ever had, and I have enough in my storage anyway. So maybe I don't even go through the bother and just put them in my trash bucket. So there are some that have more than others left, but they all have a pretty good amount left for now, let's say. And some of them were really good, like this one has just a few left, I think this is one of the fewer ones. 550, we have quite some left of that. 606, pretty good. And I'm just trying to remember if anything special was with these colors, but I think they were fine. 666, quite an amount. 718, just a bit. Ooh, look at this, 725. I I didn't became worried, but now that I see it, I, I'm like, how did I not become worried? That is very close to the edge, but I still had enough. 
There is one in there that doesn't belong there, so, oh, another one. So, and here I think another one. So I do still have to go through these bags if I want to keep them for storage. I'll figure that out later. This has some left, less the blue colors. I think all had plenty left. 814, quite a lot actually, quite a lot. Um, 819, but we didn't have much to begin with anyways. Look at this 820, that was the biggest bag uh, that was filled, that was like the that was the fullest back, let's say like that. It still has a lot left. That one. 939. Definitely some left. 948. These are all pretty filled up still. Um, this one, this definitely got a lot more than I needed. Um, yeah, this one has a low array, but that's because maybe the warm color was in this. This is the one that I showed you before that had the lighter color purple in it mixed with it. I don't see any in here now, so I think I filtered them all out. But yeah, that was all. So, put that away. And now, um, to really truly finish this, let's put the trash we already have um, into the trash bucket. Now we can call it a completed painting. So, there we go. They're all stuck. This one. Okay, that one. This one has to go in. The other one was just a bit of uh, my stuff that I put in my diamond painting pen. So that shouldn't go in there anyways. But it's in there. Didn't really feel a lot of it. But whatever. So, that's it. That is Run Free. Horse by Rachel Froud and Tre Treasure Studios Art. Um, I might buy another square from them if I find the image nice and I want it in square. Um, but I'm not going to be a regular buyer of their squares. Definitely not because I think there's other companies with better quality. Um, but I really, if I really love an image like this one, because this image is definitely the reason I wanted to buy from Treasure Studios Art. Um, then I will definitely do it because, you know, I didn't have a very bad experience with it. So I'm so relieved by that because, you know, you hear the stories. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, please let me know what you think. Um, and please share your experience. You don't have to be positive. If you have negative experiences, please share them as well in the comments. Uh, I just love to hear all your experiences with Treasure Studios art. It doesn't have to be all about the squares. It can be about their crystals, about their rounds as well. Just let me know what you think about them. And then I will see you in my next video. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.